So, for the first question, explain the functions of an operating system. So, we will need to know first, what is an operating system? An operating system is the program that after being initially loaded into the computer by a boot program, manages all of the other application programs in a computer. The application programs make use of the operating system by making requests for services through a defined application program interface or API. And now we know what is an operating system. Now we will need to know what is the role of an operating system. Yes, the role of an operating system it manages the computer's memory and processes as well as all of the software and hardware. It also allows you to communicate with the computer without knowing how to speak the computer's language. Now let's proceed to the types of an operating system. I have only five types of an operating system. The first one is the real-time operating system. The second one is the distributed operating system. The third one is the Microsoft Windows. The fourth one, <laughs> the fourth one is the iOS and the last one is the Android. So we're gonna talk about them one by one. So what is real-time operating system? Real-time operating system also known as multitasking operating systems. It is responsible for managing the hardware resources. The second type of operating system is the distributed operating system. Distributed operating system manages a group of distinct network computers and makes them appear to be a single computer and the third type of the operating system is the Microsoft Windows. Microsoft Windows is one of the most popular proprietary operating systems for computers in the world. And the fourth one is the iOS. From Apple is used on smartphones and tablets manufactured by the same company. And the last type of operating system is the Android. It is not available for desktop computers, but in mobile devices, it is extremely popular. And now we're done to the functions of an operating system. Let's proceed to the second question. How to create bootable device on a USB or a CD? So, we will have a procedure to that. The first step, insert a USB flash drive into a running computer. Second step, open a command prompt window as an administrator. The third step, type disk part. The fourth step, to determine the USB flash drive number or drive letter, at the command prompt type, type list disk and then click enter. The fifth step, at the command prompt, type select disk X, where X is the drive number and drive or drive letter of the USB flash drive and then click enter. The sixth step, type clean and then click Enter. Seventh step. To create a new primary partition on the USB flash drive, type create partition primary and then click enter. The eighth step. To select the partition that you just created, type select partition 1 and click enter. The ninth step. To format the partition type format fs equals n plus f quick and click enter 
the 10th step, type active and click enter. The 11th step, type exit and click enter. The 12th step and lastly, when you finish preparing your custom image, solve it to the root of the USB flash drive. And now let's proceed to the last question. The last question is, after using a bootable device, how will you clean the storage? So there is a procedure to that. The first step, the first step, to open command prompt, press Windows plus R at a time. A box with name run will appear. Second step, type CMD there and press enter key. Third step, on command prompt, type disk part and then press enter key. Disk part command will start. The fourth step, type list disk and press enter key. Find out proper disk which you want to make unbootable. Find the disk number left most column of the list of your bootable USB drive. The fifth step, type select disk N and press enter. Sixth step, type clean and press enter. The seventh step, type create partition primary and press enter. The eighth step, type active and press enter. The ninth step, type format FS equals FAT32 quick and press enter. The tenth step, type assign and press enter. And the last step, then type exit and press enter. So that's how it is done. So thank you for listening to my performance task in information communication technology. Thank you.